Have you ever wondered what it would be like to survive in a mansion full of zombies? Welcome to the world of Resident Evil, a survival horror video game where your worst nightmares come alive. Our story begins with two characters, Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine, members of the STARS Alpha team. The team's mission? Investigating the sudden disappearance of their Bravo team in the treacherous Arkley Mountains. Just when you think things are bad enough, the Alpha team's helicopter suffers engine trouble, forcing them to make an emergency landing. And where do they land? None other than an eerily silent mansion nestled in the heart of the mountains. With no other option, the team decides to explore the mansion, hoping to find shelter and perhaps some answers to the Bravo team's disappearance. But as Chris, Jill and the rest of the Alpha team would soon discover, this isn't just any mansion. Little did the Alpha team know they were about to step into a nightmare. What seemed like an ordinary mansion started revealing its dark secrets. This was no ordinary abode. It was a clandestine laboratory of the Umbrella Corporation. The mansion was a labyrinth filled with perplexing puzzles and deadly traps. As the players ventured deeper, they stumbled upon horrifying creatures, grotesque mutations born from the T-Virus. The mansion was a far cry from a safe haven. It was a house of horrors, teeming with relentless flesh-eating zombies and other monstrous beings. The players had to stay sharp, solve intricate puzzles, and use their wits to survive these terrifying encounters. The mansion was a testament to the Umbrella Corporation's sinister experiments, its hallowed halls echoing with the screams of the infected. A chilling reminder of the corporation's insidious intentions and the devastating effects of the T-Virus. The mansion was not just a house, it was a house of horrors. As they ventured deeper, the mansion's horrifying truths started to unravel. Our players found themselves knee-deep in a web of deception, piecing together a chilling narrative through scattered documents and cryptic clues. The mansion, far from a simple residence, was a facade for a secret laboratory owned by the ominous Umbrella Corporation. But what were they hiding? The answer lay in a name that would send chills down their spines. The T-Virus. Crafted in the very heart of the mansion, the T-Virus was a biological weapon of terrifying potential. The corporation's reckless disregard for life was evident in the mansion's grotesque inhabitants. The T-Virus had infected them, morphing them into the flesh-eating monsters that now roamed the hallways. The mansion wasn't just a house of horrors. It was a Petri dish a breeding ground for Umbrella's monstrous creations. In the heart of the mansion, a deadly virus was born. Amidst the horror, there were glimmers of hope and shadows of betrayal. In the eerie mansion, Chris and Jill are not alone. They stumble upon other survivors from the STARS team, including Rebecca Chambers and Barry Burton. Each provides a different perspective, a different piece of the jigsaw puzzle that is the Umbrella Corporation's dark secret. Rebecca, the Bravo team's medical officer, offers vital support, especially to Chris. Her medical expertise and knowledge of the T-Virus become invaluable as they navigate their way through the mansion's horrors. Barry, on the other hand, proves to be Jill's rock, providing both firepower and emotional support. These survivors are the silver lining in the dark cloud that is the mansion, offering much-needed assistance and hope. But not all is as it seems. As they delve deeper into the mansion's secrets, a shocking revelation comes to light. Albert Wesker, the captain of the STARS team, the man they looked up to, trusted, is deeply involved in the conspiracy. Wesker's true allegiance lies not with his team, but with the Umbrella Corporation. His betrayal sends shockwaves through the survivors, making them question everything they thought they knew. In a house full of monsters, the most dangerous one was a man they trusted. This chilling realization adds a new layer of terror to their ordeal, making them face not just the physical horrors around them, but the psychological terror of betrayal. As the mansion's self-destruct sequence initiated, a final confrontation was inevitable. The clock was ticking, and the stakes had never been higher. Deep within the bowels of the mansion, in the secret laboratory, the ultimate bio-organic weapon, the Tyrant, awaited. This was no ordinary adversary, it was a monstrous creation of the Umbrella Corporation, a testament to their twisted experiments. This terrifying creature, towering and powerful, was the last barrier between our heroes and their escape. Chris Redfield, with his marksmanship and brute strength, or Jill Valentine, with her resourcefulness and quick thinking, each faced this beast in their own way. 
The battle was fierce, a true test of their survival skills honed throughout this horrifying ordeal. The tyrant was relentless, but so were our heroes. They fought back, using every weapon and resource at their disposal. Their determination was fueled by the need to survive, to expose the truth, and to ensure that the horrors of the Umbrella Corporation would not go unnoticed. In this face-off with death itself, the choices made during gameplay mattered more than ever. The fate of the characters and the ending of the game hung in the balance. Some paths led to narrow escapes, others to tragic endings, each one a different tale of survival against all odds. In the end, it was a race against time, a battle against a monster, and a desperate bid for survival. The final showdown in the Resident Evil game was a thrilling climax to a haunting journey, one that left players eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this chilling saga. When the dust settled, the mansion was no more, but the nightmare was far from over. The game's labyrinthine narrative offered different endings, each one a unique outcome of the choices made throughout this terrifying journey. Each ending, a reflection of the player's survival skills and decision-making prowess, painted a distinct picture of escape from the mansion's horrifying confines. The destruction of the Umbrella facility was a spectacle of its own, a symbol of mankind's hubris and reckless pursuit of power the facility's ruin served as a grim reminder of the consequences of unchecked ambition. Yet the closure was not absolute. The echoes of the mansion's horrifying secrets lingered. The sinister shadow of Umbrella Corporation loomed large, and the survivors carried the scars of their ordeal. This was just the beginning of a saga that would continue to unfold in the subsequent installments, each one delving deeper into the heart of darkness. Resident Evil was not just a game, but a chilling tale of survival, horror and conspiracy that left a lasting impact on the world of gaming. <laughs>